know, maybe three hours ago it was about half a foot below. So it's been steady rising. We're seeing a little bit more of that whole concrete area over here was exposed earlier, now it's not. We call this Adam's Cut. It goes right to the bay. Pretty cool. here I'm pretty sheltered for right now. You guys see this is along the way. This is pretty good water flow through here. You know some boats pinned up. This is it. This is the start of some of the feeder bands here down in Key Largo. You know um they say it's not safe, the storm surge and the wind. Uh, we've been very lucky, unfortunately, for Cuba. It slowed this storm down a little bit for us. Uh, as far as the storm surge, what they were really worried about was, uh, you know, if, if you were to live in a house uh, across the way that was only one story, uh, most of that first story is going to be underwater. And if you didn't have a second story to go to, it would be your roof and you'd be out in the elements. Um, if you had a stick built house on the water like that or whatnot, um, you know, you'd probably lose your roof. So you wouldn't have a roof to go on, you'd end up being swept away. Um, you know, flip the point staying here, but it is what it is. You know, I jumped out of the plane last week and used just as much as a flip of the coin. So uh, I feel pretty safe. four inches an hour at this point um, like I said I got here bunkered down and everything moved in about four hours ago and the water over here was um, probably about a foot below it wasn't crashing above you guys uh, I have some earlier videos you'll see kind of how it's changed over the past several hours but hanging in there so far so good everyone seems to be doing good Everyone in Florida, hang on tight. Those who are down here, you know, say a prayer. Um, you know, Monday we'll be able to get out and assess the damage. But, yeah, the water will get high, but I have You know, there's, I'm pretty sheltered here. I'm really not seeing much of the front of the storm, so not yet at least. Uh, we're still hours away from the worst of it, but we should be just fine here, knock on wood. A concrete house, so not much wood around. But we'll see. All this down here slowly will uh, become a river, as it did in Andrew. All this will come down the road and kind of sweep right out. We'll keep going right to the bay side. If uh, I uh, had to make sure Buddy's safe, he's not the smartest, not the smartest kid. Uh, you guys, believe it or not, there's still a gas station open down here in Tavernier. So uh, you, you say we're crazy, they're crazy. But um, to give you guys a good idea what's going on here, where we're at elevation-wise, if you guys look down the way, all right. This we call Adam's Cut, and right there is the main road. That's about 12, 13 feet elevation right there. So right now we're about two feet, you know, a foot of storm surge, and we got another uh, 13 feet before the island becomes completely swamped. So we, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, 
And that might even be more than 13. It might be about 15 feet down there. You guys give you a good idea. You know, but where I'm at now, um, I'm 15 feet up. And uh, I got another story or two above me. So I'll be safe when it comes to, to the water. Um, and you know, hopefully this thing keeps downgrading. Um, and hopefully we, you know, category three would be a lot better than a direct kick category four. So that's where you really gotta worry about the structures. So we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated. So far so good down here. And uh, just hang on, we should get some rain bands here soon. If I can't go outside and I still have service, I'll give you guys an update on kind of what it sounds like to be uh, in the house with uh, 100 mile per hour winds with shutters and whatnot, which should be interesting. I've never been through it. So, but uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully things will be all right. I, I really think we're gonna be all right. We're gonna get some wind, some weather, but uh, we're tough. We're all tough down here, so. You guys, be safe out there, and uh, just the next 24 hours, use your better sense of judgment. Stay safe, guys. You can't stress that enough. Love everybody, all my friends and family. I love you guys, as always. And uh, you guys look